Hey everybody and welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Today we're going to be showing you how to make Haitian pickles. Cue the music. Alright, well welcome back. Thanks a lot for being here today. I appreciate you watching on whatever platform you're viewing from today. Go ahead and like and subscribe while you're there. But like I said, we're going to be making Haitian pickles. So let's drop down here and see what our ingredients is for this. We got two cups of shredded green and purple cabbage, six habanero peppers sliced thin, one green pepper sliced thin, one red onion sliced thin, one cup of shredded carrot, one bunch of scallions sliced thin, four cloves of garlic minced, one tablespoon of red pepper flakes, one teaspoon of kosher salt, two cups of distilled white vinegar, and two tablespoons of lime juice. Now this is got some different variables in it. We did not use peppercorns or scotch bonnets, which normally you use scotch bonnets in it, but I've got the uh, habanero, which is slightly hotter, and I've left the seeds in. And we didn't get peppercorns, but I've got red pepper flakes in there. Just gonna kind of kick it up a little bit. So that's our version. Let's go ahead and start making this. All right, as always, make sure you have got a vessel big enough to mix everything in it. We got a lot of stuff here. So we got our cabbages. We're gonna add our onion, our green pepper, our jalapeno pepper, carrots, Mix all this up, break it all up, get our garlic in there, our green onions, the salt, the red peppers, flakes, red pepper flakes. I'm going to mix it up again. Then I'm going to add the lime juice. I'm going to mix the lime juice in there really well to get it all over the ingredients and then next we're going to stuff as much of this cabbage into these jars as we can <laughs> already smells good all right got one full might need another jar after I get these two done one This one in here. Yep, gonna need another one, but I will do that in a little bit just to show you what we're doing here. Let me take this glove off. Now, you've got whatever jars you're gonna do, you get three or four or five or whatever, but you gotta take your vinegar, and I said two cups, it might be more than two cups. But you need to cover with just straight distilled white vinegar. You want to cover everything up, push everything down in there so it's covered by that vinegar. Get your, it's all covered. And we're gonna cover these up. And these are gonna go in the refrigerator for three days. So in three days, we'll be back to check this out. All right, we have done three days. These have marinated for three days in this vinegar and you can see the color changed a little bit. The purple cabbage and the purple onion have kind of bled a little bit and it looks like it's done well like it's supposed to. Oh, wow, that smells really, really good. That, uh, you can see that in this shot. But, oh my God, that smells really good. So I'm gonna put some of this into here just so you can get a better glimpse of it and we'll give it a taste as well. But there it is, beautiful. A variety of colors, wonderful aroma coming off of this. Let me give it a taste here. Get some. Try to get a little bit of everything in here. Mm. 
you think it would be vinegary sitting in that vinegar for three days and you think it'd be hot too it is hot but it's not overwhelmingly spicy good flavor good vinegar in there I mean that's not overwhelming vinegar color is beautiful yeah this makes a great accompaniment it's a side dish you can put it on a chicken sandwich you can put it on any sandwich you can put it on a burger that'd be really good to give it some extra crunch throw it in a salad I mean you can put that on a charcuterie board that would be very nice but yeah this is good 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 in fact, I'm going to get a hot dog going later on and try try some of this on a hot dog. In fact, me being from Minnesota, try it on a bratwurst too. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to head to my seasoning store online there on www.itsonlyfood.biz. And don't forget to check that recipe out right down there in the description box or in the first pinned comment. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye bye. Strappers don't listen. Well, let me show them something. You hear that beat bumping, bumping from the soul kitchen. <laughs> now, what you fixing up? Good food, soul food. Come and pick it up. These rappers don't listen. Well, let me show them something. You hear that beat bumping, bumping from the soul kitchen.